Well, it's clear the holidays are upon us, just walking into any store. But buying Halloween candy at the checkout counter might be the scariest part of Halloween for parents this year. Nikki Schenfeld reports. In three weeks, kids will be trick-or-treating, and they might want to get an early start because there might not be as many treats this year. A national survey found half of its participants plan on spending the same amount for candy this year, but will buy less due to higher prices. We've seen an uptick in sugar prices going on, um, you know, manufacturing too. Everybody wants to higher wage, so that factors in on the outcome of what the price of candy is. The same survey found half of Halloween candy buyers spend $25 or less on treats. <laughs> Expect more tricks than treats this year as consumers are expected to spend more on decorations and on costumes than years past. The National Retail Federation found 70% of people plan to buy costumes this year, and that's up from years past. Demon Slayer, Harry Potter, Wolverine, Spider-Man, Little Mermaid, and Wednesday Addams are popular and a special kind of ghost face. The third one which is getting the most interest is this one. This is what we call the bling or the rhinestone mask. Now, not a lot of stores were able to get this on the mainland. And since Barbie can be anyone, they have popular accessories instead. We have the wigs for the different looks, um, and this has been extremely popular. This actually sold out on the other side before October. He says business has picked up quite a bit, too. There are certain days where it was just a lot busier than last year. I do think this year, just based on how the economy is going, that it will be a last-minute Halloween. So my advice for the people, definitely buy it now where everything is stocked up and you're avoiding the lines. Harry Potter hanging lights sold out quickly, and these exorcist dolls are expected to be a quick sell, too. Nikki Schoenfeld, KJ2 News, working for Hawaii.